Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. It's lovely to see you again, as usual, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So as you can see today, I've made these wonderful sauté potatoes, and they're so easy to make, and they go with almost anything. You know, I'd be quite happy to eat a bowl of these just on their own. So sauté potatoes or pan-fried potatoes, whatever you want to call them, it's tatties and onions. So that's everything that I've used here, but as as usual all of these ingredients will be down below and their quantities that I've used so this will do between three to four people I've got some tatties onion oil some salt and pepper and then a few seasonings there the seasonings can obviously be adjusted to suit you this is just what I've decided to use I actually swapped out the thyme for some sage as you can see there because sage and onion go so well together so the potatoes I'm using are King Edwards I would recommend something like this or russet potatoes or even Maris Pipers. So you want to wash them and then peel them. I would say one sort of large potato per person is more than enough when you combine it with the onions and you know by the time it's cooked it's you know they're, they're quite heavy but delicious. So make sure they are well peeled and then we're going to slice them up. So you want to do them not too thick not too thin probably about a quarter of an inch thick because you don't want them all completely disintegrating in the pan you know but if that's your aim you know if you want them mushy then you can do them quite thin but this is the way that I'm doing them here as you can see they are quite chunky because I do want them to hold their shape as much as possible so just pop them into a bowl of water you want to rinse these and get all of that starch off so get your nice clean potatoes into a bowl now we're going to go over to the pan you want quite a warm pan so medium to high heat I'm going to use a combination of vegetable oil I was going to use olive oil but I changed my mind to vegetable oil because I'm going to be using butter you know and it might have made it too rich so vegetable oil and butter is absolutely fine get it nice and warm and foamy and then pop in your potatoes give them a wee coating and now we're going to add the seasonings it's easier to add them at this stage because obviously as the potatoes soften up you know you want to move them around as less as possible because like I said I didn't want them all breaking up so I'm going to add my seasonings now so salt and pepper and garlic and sage and parsley and cayenne pepper no in fact I use paprika but like I said use whatever you like you know the combination is completely up to you you can add or take away or even add your own seasonings and I ended up using smoked paprika just at the end as well because I do like the smoky flavour so give your potatoes a good toss around to get all of those flavours nicely distributed and then all we're going to do now is pop the lid on and don't disturb these for about five minutes and that's going to give them a good chance to heat through and I just popped on another wee bit of parsley just at the end there so cover these and like I said give them about five minutes and they will just steam away in there quite nicely and that's going to start off the cooking process after five minutes come back and as you can see they're all bubbling away there and now we're going to add the onion this is just a small onion I've halved through the middle and then sliced again just to give you sort of half moon shapes break up all your wee pieces and add them in give them a good stir through and again we're just going to pop the lid on and give these another five minutes but I'm going to pop in another wee bit of parsley and this time some smoked paprika on with your lid and give them another five minutes just sauteing away and I came back and stirred mine one once within that five minutes Take your lid off and as you can see, you know, they're getting nice and soft. I just gave mine a wee shake just to make sure they weren't sticking to the bottom. And they weren't because this is a non-stick pan. But you can see the potatoes and onions are starting to caramelise. And this is exactly what you're looking for. Just to finish mine off, I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of water. Just let that steam away until that water evaporates and your potatoes should be done and these were so soft and falling apart I didn't want to move them around or stir them around too much or they would have just all disintegrated these are absolutely perfect and like I said they go with most things but I'd be quite happy just to have a bowl of these on their own I love tatties we all like potatoes you know potatoes with everything but this night we just had some steak pie some carrots and some garden peas and that's the potatoes 
on the side there and they're not burnt. That onion is just lovely and caramelised and the, the, you know, the sides of the potato are just starting to go lovely and crispy. So these were absolutely perfect. Just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here as well. And if you don't see your name there, don't panic because this was actually recorded at the beginning of March. We are away for a few days. As, as I'm speaking, we are actually away down in uh, the Lake District just for a couple of days. So this has been pre-filmed. So if you have joined and your name isn't there, you know, don't panic. It will be there. It's just that this is pre-recorded. So do let me know if you're planning on giving that one a go. Like I said, really, really easy, quite quick to make as well and quite cheap to make. You know, you can obviously add bacon and different things if you like. But if you keep it simple, it's quite cheap to make and delicious as well. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, Instagram yet. I'm what's for T3 over there and it would be lovely to see you. So I'm going to get off now and wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you off as soon back here on what's for tea. Bye now.